So whether I'm ordering that new exhaust, ordering pizza for the boys, so why would I not want to be saving money on all these orders that I'm going to be making anyways? So whether you're a 16 year old who just found their love for cars or you've been working in the shop for over 30 years, yeah. we got you. So when you join Throttle VIP, you're also automatically entered to win this car we're building on the YouTube channel. That's just a cherry on top. In all seriousness guys, check out the link. There's thousands of brands with awesome deals. Save yourself some money on stuff you're already spending money on. Just if you can. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Putting gas in the car, that can only mean one thing. That Calvin's getting <laughs> my <laughs> and he's excited. Throttle is great. So, the last couple days have been pretty hell on me. A lot of hours, and I'll be honest, I haven't filmed today, and it is almost evening time, or it is evening time. But, Boys from DNA Garage came down today. JJ and Louie were finishing up all the wiring, all the plumbing. We're actually finally putting gas in this car because we're going to start it up today. All right, the boys are getting the Haltech all figured out at the moment. We are moments away from trying to turn this thing over. We're going to top off the fluids and uh, give this thing its first crank. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on time lapse while I do these fluids real quick and then we'll bring you back when we're ready to turn the key over. All right, so we're gonna load eight quarts of five or 10W40 motor oil in here. This is just startup oil, don't trip. This isn't the oil that I would typically run in my cars, but this oil is literally for startup, break in, and then flush. And then we'll put the good shit. All right, so we're all topped off on fluids here. We've done the transmission, the engine oil. We've filled it up with coolant. This is temporary coolant just to start the car. We don't really even need it because we're just gonna kick the car over, let it run for a second and kill it probably. Um, if it actually starts and runs and now we have coolant, we can allow it to actually heat up, which is cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything buttoned up up here, get all the caps on. Uh, uh, JJ is installing the damn O2 sensor for the Haltech system so we can keep an eye on air fuel. Louie is loading a base map at the moment on the roof of the car. Right. Yeah, I got my cover. Hi Louie. You even know how to use that thing? That no. ain't a Nintendo. It's touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> so we're super close. Uh, sorry I haven't been filming more today. I'm honestly just sort of burnt out as I said earlier. Last couple nights, 3.30 a.m. mornings um, in like three hours of sleep have just worn on me. Last thing I want to do is be picking up the camera and stopping the progress of the guys today. So we've just been plugging along, but rest assured when this thing fires, you guys will be here to hear it. All right, what are we working on here, Louie? Well, we're setting up all the sensors so the computer can pick them up and start you know, displaying all the, da the data from the uh, engine or all the vitals. This isn't a five liter. No, we've changed that already. <laughs> I've got a secret map in there. Secret? <laughs> <laughs> There are no secrets around here, boys. Exactly. Cool, so how far out are we from starting this car, do you think, Re realistically? Realistically, like 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so it's basically just setting up everything in the in the Haltech software, yes, sir. and then loading a base map, a startup map, and then we can sort of go from there and then troubleshoot. Exactly. Hopefully there won't be any trouble to shoot. Well, so I have this problem and I don't know where it stems from. I call JJ Will more than I call him JJ. And I'm not sure if it's because I met all these guys on one day and it just never sat in my head. But it's super rude and <laughs> I definitely need to get it sorted real soon. 
because JJ has been here for a couple days now helping me work on my car and uh, is an absolute rock star when it comes to working on cars. So I need to get my shit together. Thank you, JJ. Sorry for being a pain in your ass and calling you Will. I know that's disrespectful because Will's a jackass. <laughs> okay, so we got the car back on the ground, the fuel. We checked the fuel pressure and the leak on the fuel uh, filter in the back. It's now fixed. Now we're gonna set the fuel pressure. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay, how much more? Two full turns. That's one, that's two. All right, so fuel pressure regulator is set. I can go ahead and tighten down the 10 millimeter nut on that. We've got 43 PSI of fuel pressure set. All right, so that was the first startup. I missed the key on. I was too excited and uh, watching things in the engine bay to grab the camera and get it started before uh, JJ turned the key on. But you guys got to hear it first time. You can see the shop is smoky as fuck. Pardon my language, but we definitely just smoked out the whole shop, which is typical when you do first startup. Louie, what are you doing right now? Because we're gonna about to start the car for the second time, correct? Uh, yes, sir. We just uh, basically readjusted air fuel ratios. Okay. Uh, so it'll idle a little bit smoother. Uh, we're checking S timing. Idle smoother? Well, how it should. <laughs> how it should. Okay. <laughs> yep, and she's. Alright, so we're up. ready to go again? Yes, sir.
she's up there in temperature. All right. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. The car runs, it starts. The boys from DNA Garage killed it today. We've got a bunch of buttoning up to do now. The main part was to get the car running. So as you guys saw, the intercooler was not hooked up. They have a filter on the turbo. The downpipe was actually cut so that all the clips that I showed of the exhaust, there's no exhaust coming out of there. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been a long three days. At any rate, so there's open exhaust under the car, which we did on purpose. Um, anyway, there's a lot of temporary stuff just set up to get the car started get a little tune on it so that it can be driven out of here and onto a trailer to go get tuned or broken in. And we've accomplished that. So it's been a long three, four days. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get cleaned up. And I am planning on coming back in tomorrow and it's time to start buttoning this car up for final usage and off to tuning. So I've got some fabrication work that needs to be done. We've got to build a downpipe that is properly fitted to the car. Uh, we've got to build our wastegate uh, tubes that are going to vent to atmosphere underneath the car. We've got to build the intercooler piping and mount the blow-off valve on the intercooler piping. So there's a few things that need to get done fab-wise. That's all happening tomorrow. We're on it, and I'm not stopping until this thing is roadworthy. So I hope you guys are down for the journey. We're going to continue with it. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to our channel. We love every one of you guys. Thank you much for the comments and all the likes. It's awesome. Thank you guys. Peace out. Thanks for joining us today.